So this is a uh, a pharmacist who's been mining data for for long COVID folks, and she's actually got um, uh, <laughs> she's got uh, she's she's trying she's asking people questions, and I encourage people go fill out her surveys. Like this is all about helping you and finding this, but this is uh, looking at fatigue improvement. And look, natokinase uh, NK is one of the uh, in combination with lumbar kinase and, and or seropeptidase has really helped people. And that might be important for several reasons. So I wanted to jump to natokinase. What is it doing? It could be bind, it could be binding spike protein. So I gave this young man Maraviroc. It helped him. Is it because I'm getting rid of a monocyte or is it because I'm binding spike protein? I don't know yet. I'm going to talk about a little bit about that, but maybe natokinase could help him. Cursertin helps with mast cell activation syndrome and mast cell activation, but there is some data that it in, uh, that it might be binding spike protein as well. <laughs> There's some commentary that I'm enjoying right now. Um, NAC uh, and acetylcysteine, which is something that we're recommending all our long COVID patients use. Actually, um, there's some in silico, meaning computer modeling, that it's binding spike protein. It also supports the mitochondria. And in the study that came out of Yale University using guanfacine, which is a medicine that I use a lot of, um, they kind of use it in combination. And so I like telling people, hey, I was using natokinase because I thought that was a blood thinner. Maybe it's binding spike protein. Hey, I was using Cursertan because this person seemed like a mast cell patient. Well, is it actually binding spike? I was using NAC because I thought it helped the mitochondria. Well, it actually did it do something else. So I want people to know that we got to keep looking and we got to keep um, finding this data out. Curcumin, lots of patients are on that in silico data that's helping bind spike protein as well as inflammation. Rutin uh, in silico. It's a part of something called Vedicinols 9, which is a medication lots of my patients are using. And actually in that survey that I put up from long COVID Farm D is helping some folks. Um, and there are dozens of medicines. There are so many medicines out there that could potentially do it, but it's about trying medicine to see if we can help. The antivirals for persistent COVID, so Tolovid is an, uh, a herbal supplement that we wanna talk about as well as Paxlovid I mentioned. 